Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Hustle Castle on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Hustle Castle and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Hustle Castle. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else folks, the first thing to do is to launch our favorite browser. We have here the one we use by default. Let's continue, going to the next URL I have highlighted in green color. There you are seeing it on the screen. There is no need to type anything, simply because I added a link in the description of this video and as well in the first pinned comment. We arrived here on our own site of Usitility, in which we include a detailed explanation on how you can obtain Hustle Castle on computer. We browse down a tad and mouse click on the download game on PC button. After we click on the link, we arrive here on the site of Bluestacks. Which the Android emulator that we will use to play Hustle Castle on our PC. It is now obvious that we get a number of advantages of preferring using this emulator. Then, we will start downloading the Hustle Castle by simply clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that I have marked in green. Next step is clicking on that button. Of course, the download takes no time at all. Voila, here is located the download. It's a file to execute. What we have to do is to run the executable file. Okay, then we click on the file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make modifications to the system. We clicked yes. I reduce the browser to start to see the installation software better. The installation software is straightforward. It is made up of two choices, install and setup path. I am going to clarify what setup path really does. We simply just click on it. And now we see that we display here the path where in fact the emulator is going to be placed. If we want to modify this directory we have got to click on the browse option. So we choose another directory and set up the emulator precisely where we want. I am going to leave it by default. Then, I click on back. And therefore I click on install. Great. The installation commences and it is going to carry on along with the download of those megabytes that are presented on our screen. After you save it on your machine, it may be more or less MB. The data transfer rate may go faster or slower, based on your web access and according to the velocity of the emulator hosting servers. At the moment they're working very fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this point, the emulator has been started immediately. As you will notice, down here, we have a progress bar which will move forward to the right then when it reaches the end, the emulator is going to be started for the first time. The reality is the emulator has already been started, here for the first time. Before we continue on, as you can see, it created two software icons here on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks icon will be one we're concerned with. Whenever we want to start Hustle Castle on the PC, we double-click on this particular icon and therefore start the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in Eco Mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. We should do the next phase, which is actually a requirement, and this is to access the Google Play Store. And we'll click on Play Store. As you will notice the Google Play is launched. In this case we have got to log on. At present when we're right here, we must definitely do the next step that is obligatory. So that we mouse click on, sign in. At this point it says, checking info. It might in some cases get blocked in, checking info, and it doesn't move ahead. In that case, you can attempt to connect to your account after a couple of hours and it will most certainly be repaired. At this point we are going to type our username and password. The email must be a Gmail email and its associated password. For example you could use the same exact email you are using right now in your own YouTube account. So that I am going to insert my data and I will return immediately after I have done it. That's all, data typed. And here is Google welcoming us and presenting us the terms of service. We will consent to them by simply clicking, I agree. After that, it offers us to back up to the Google Cloud. You might let it checked and it'll produce a backup of the files on that device to Google Drive. I will not check it, you do what you want. We simply click on accept. The Google Play Store is launched without need to open it manually and completely on its own. 
To set up the app, we have got to go to the emulator desktop by clicking that icon designated green colored. Today that we are on the desktop of that emulator for Android, we can see that we come with right here the install game button. We just click on that button. Right here we have the Android game. Let's quickly simply click here on the install option that I am presenting now in green. Therefore it will start the software setup. Right now it is going to download and install the video game, it can take some time or perhaps it may possibly be very fast. It all varies on the connection to the web. It has actually finished installing. Back to the emulator desktop by clicking on the following option that I'm emphasizing in green, in order to run Hustle Castle for the first time. I am already on the emulator desktop, and as a consequence we're preparing to mouse click on this new Hustle Castle icon that was created. That game is started for the first time. So there we have it, I'm able to click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I am going to comment on the sound level of that emulator. It's right here, we have got the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume, this way we won't use the windows volume to increase or decrease the music of this emulator. As well as to enjoy the experience to the greatest, we should switch on the big screen, for which we have two options. That is the very first one, we then click on this particular software icon that I'm mentioning in green color. Then the screen is maximized, enjoying one border on top, one at the right and one at the bottom. Supposing that we want to play the application using all the screen, we click this app icon. And we'd without a doubt be experiencing the game app in 100% screen mode. To leave the full screen setting, push the F11 key. And therefore we would just play in regular display setting. At this moment I am going to explain you the computer keys mapping that is definitely very appealing. This step we will certainly be in a position to operate the game more effortlessly. The very first thing is to click this keyboard icon. It's now time to complete the recommended configuration settings. I most certainly will leave the default configuration, however if you like to adjust that, you can do it without having problem. Clearly, the emulator is completely in our own language. Once in a while it occurs that your emulator is launched in the incorrect language, as an example, in Mandarin. Then to set it in the appropriate language we browse here to the cogwheel. So here throughout many other options, we mouse click on the language, drop down. We can opt for the language we like, German, Chinese, and so on. As soon as the language is chosen, we would save, the emulator will reboot, and the video game, the next time we run it, would as well be in the chosen language. At this time, there is another point that we have to take into consideration, and it's that we will receive a message from Gmail indicating that a completely new machine has been associated with our own Google account. It will definitely ask us if we are the individuals who have associated with that electronic device. Yes, we shouldn't worry, since the emulator is simulating a Google Android electronic device. And then to see which tablet or smartphone is currently being emulated, we go here, to the cogwheel and we simply click on it. And so we go here to the, model, selection. And now we learn that the emulator is behaving like a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks, so much for my video user demo. I anticipate you enjoyed it, especially that you found it informative. If that's the case, allow it a superb like, subscribe, and any remarks, questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment box below. You could also leave a comment on my Twitch channel, I conduct live streams on occasion, you get it down below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Check out any of these instructional videos that happens to be showing up on the suggestion of videos to watch and let's have fun again in the upcoming video tutorials. Bye!